Today, I wanted to show you a method that I thought was pretty effective on how to mix the ingredients to make black powder without a ball mill. I found this method in an old munitions handbook and I thought I'd share it with you because I don't have a ball mill, so this is the method I would use. So I'm not making too much black powder. I'm using the same ratios that I would use for regular black powder, but just on a much smaller scale because I didn't have enough uh, potassium nitrate to make a whole bunch. So I kind of traded out cups for tablespoons. See? But really the amount doesn't matter as long as the ratios are correct. And I followed the ratios exactly how it asked. And also you are gonna need some form of alcohol. So this was like half a tablespoon of sulfur, uh, two tablespoons of charcoal, and three tablespoons of potassium nitrate. And then for the alcohol, I'm using, it was 10 tablespoons of uh, rubbing alcohol. You could also use like whiskey or something like that if you don't have rubbing alcohol. So I have one tablespoon of water that I'm gonna pour into the mixture, and then I'm gonna mix it so that all the ingredients will mix with each other into an even solution. Okay, that's all the water. Now I'm gonna mix it. So you can see, you can't really see the charcoal or the um, potassium nitrate or the sulfur uh, separated anymore because I mixed them pretty good. So it's all one composition. So once you have it mixed well, you're gonna add two more tablespoons of water and then you're gonna mix that. So I added the two additional tablespoons of water into the mix and I mixed it up and now I put it over a stove and you're gonna wait for small bubbles to form. You don't want it to go to a full boil, but you want kind of just small teeny tiny bubbles to form. And then after that happens, I'm going to pour the mixture into the alcohol and then you're gonna stir vigorously as the uh, manual says. And by the way, here's this cat that showed up at our house um, a few weeks ago and he's just been staying with us. So that's interesting. I'm allergic to cats kind of, but I haven't really had any reactions to him. I don't really like, you know, play with him a lot. I just kind of say hey to him as I'm walking by and maybe pet him a little bit. You put a collar on him. And I guess he's a family member now. So that's good. Anyways, I'm gonna wait for small bubbles to form and then I'm gonna pour it into the alcohol mixture. I just poured the heated mixture into the alcohol and I stirred it with the stir rod pretty vigorously like it says in the manual and then it says let it sit for five minutes. So I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes. And then I'm gonna strain the liquid through this little jean pocket I cut out. And then after you strain it, you let it sit in the sun. So I'm gonna let it sit in the sun right here for a while. And then after that, I think you're supposed to have it dry fully within an hour because the longer it takes to dry the more poor the performance of the powder is gonna be and it won't burn as strong as it would if you can get it dry quicker. So I'm gonna try to get it to dry as quickly as possible after straining it in this, directly in the sunlight. And then after that, 
You're supposed to pelletize it. Well, actually, I think you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to strain it and then take, and then you're going to pelletize it while it's damp because then it will hold its shape and then you let it dry whenever it's uh, pelletized in the sun because it will harden in like a pellet form. That's what, how you're supposed to do it. So I'm going to wait five minutes and then I'm going to strain it. So I'm over by the dirt now. And by the way, I need to get the habit of saying so every single um, new clip I make out of my head. I'm sure it's probably getting on the nerves of anyone who watches this. So I'm going to try to stop saying so in, at the beginning of every video. But anyways, I'm going to uh, pour the mixture into the cutout pant cloth and then hopefully... I could get some black powder at the bottom. And then the, the liquid isn't really needed. Hey, stop it, Yoshi. Yoshi's getting in the way. That's why we named him Yoshi. Okay, so I'm gonna open it and pour it in. Pouring in the mixture. Probably should have kept it off the ground a little bit because I think some leaves just got caught up in there. So there's some clumps at the bottom of the cup. I'm going to need to kind of scoop that out. I'm going to get back with you in a little bit after I can get the whole mixture poured out. I just got finished draining the water out of the black powder mixture. Now I'm going to take this strainer and push the damp powder into the uh, little holes of the strainer. It should kind of pelletize the, um, the powder and it'll make it burn a lot quicker whenever, whenever it ignites. Ah, oh, damn it. Now he's, uh, digging his claws into my leg. Ah! Ah, stop it, Yoshi. Ouch. Stop it. Okay. Retract. Retract. Ah, he's doing it some more. Okay. Oh, I feel it. I'm just gonna maybe pick him up. Get him off of me. Ah, oh, he's staying. He, oh, he won't want- he doesn't want to leave. Ah. Ah, oh, it hurt. Those tiny little nails hurt more than it looks. Really, Yoshi? So I'm going to try to ignore the pain. While well, I have this black powder. Here's the black powder. And I'm going to push it through the strainer right now. Okay. Here's a clump. I'm going to plop it in. Now I'm going to push it through. Let's see what it looks like at the bottom. It's going to be hard to do this with one hand, but I'm going to try. Oh, I don't want it to spill out the side. Oh, I'm starting to see some little pellets at the bottom. Oh yeah, look at that. You see little pellets at the bottom? Ah, ah, he's doing it hard. I'm trying to ignore him. But yeah, here's the little pellets. I'm just ignoring Yoshi while I'm pushing in the black powder. Ah, he's doing it harder. Damn it, Yoshi. Ah. Oh, it feels so weird. Oh, I feel like he's going to draw blood soon. Ah, tiny little needles going into my leg. He's still doing it right now, but I'm still pushing out the powder into the little 
pan. It feels so weird. Ah, little razor blades into my leg. Ah, oh, it hurts. But I'm gonna have to ignore the pain. Okay, I think he's finally getting up. Nope, just wanting to change angles. Oh, a leaf fell in. I'm gonna get that out. Hold on. All right, so I think you get the idea. I'm gonna turn it off now so I could focus more on straining it and him digging his claws into my thigh. I'll see you in a second. So Yoshi's no longer clawing me. And I pushed all of the black powder through the strainer and into this little pan dish. You can see it's in little grain form. And it's almost kind of like dirt. Now I'm gonna let it dry for a little while in the sun. So I'll get back with you in about an hour. Yoshi will be waiting. And then I'm gonna store most of it, but I'm gonna take a small portion of the black powder then I'm going to light it off for you and we'll see how well it performs without ball milling and doing this alcohol mixture method. I think the alcohol is actually supposed to help it dry quicker. I think that's the point of the alcohol. I didn't understand what the point of the alcohol was at first, but I think it's supposed to be to help it dry a lot faster. So I'm going to wait for about an hour, let it dry all the way, and then I'm going to get back with you. I'll see you then. The black powder is fully dried. It's been about 40 minutes in the sun, 40 minutes to an hour. I haven't really been keeping count of how long it was out here, but it's fully dried. I have a line of it right here on this wood plank. I'm going to light it and see how well it performs. Hopefully it burns pretty well, probably won't burn as well as if I was using a rock tumbler to mill the uh, powder together, but this is probably the best option without a mill to make black powder using the alcohol method. So I'm going to light it and see how it goes. I have matches right here. I'm gonna try to do it one-handed. I'm, I'm gonna light the match and then I'm gonna get back with you. I'm gonna light it now. Okay, got a good flame going. Let me make sure my finger's not in the way. Please work. Oh, wow. That seemed pretty good. Left a little bit of residue, but overall, I think that was pretty good. Oh, look, I think a little ember was burning in the wood. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think it worked pretty well. Seemed like a pretty quick burn. So yeah, there you have it. That's how you make uh, black powder without a ball mill to mill the black powder. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you for some reason want to make black powder. I'm going to store the rest of it for maybe some other project I'm going to do some other time. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.